I'm back with another episode of Tales of Arise. On the last episode, I finished everything I needed to do on Lenegas. And right now, my next objective is to go to Rena, our next planet, the planet of the Renans. I don't know if it's going to be really interesting. I was overhyped for Lenegas because I thought it was going to be a like a large region with a lot of stuff to do, but it just looks like it's nothing. There's really nothing, nothing to do. I'm already finished after two hours of, I don't know, gameplay story-wise. And it's already finished. Maybe there's like a couple of side quests left. I don't even know. I don't really... Nah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. But I just don't want to be overhyped for Rena. I wanted this, the, the next location to be like a... Just like Ardana. That there's a lot of regions with a lot of bosses, with a lot of story mission. So I'm not overhyped. I'm interested in it, but let's be honest, I don't want to be like down if I see that it's nothing. But for now, let's just continue and hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be fun. Alright, so right now I need to go back to the starship. I could actually talk to those uh, people right there just for the side quest. Because it looks like that's, this is like the only thing I need to do in here that I didn't do before. So let me just uh, cruise oh, through God. it. It's not like it's any, anything interesting. It I don't even like remember what this mission was. Uh, Remnants of the Lords. Yeah, it will only give me like 120 and SP really and a bit of Geralt. Definitely not something I want. I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of Ganet Harrow's changed. I know the first thing I'm gonna do when I go back to oh, Dana really? is actually to do the <laughs> four lights. Uh, it's gonna be difficult because of their levels. But after level, completing Rena, maybe we're gonna go back to Dana and do it. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm level 49 right now. And it's almost at the half. Her belief, but championed it as I think I'm ready, right but too. you never know. Like two level, no, ten level differences are, quite honestly, mm -hmm. too difficult. Yeah. Okay, Balsef had it in him to care about someone other than himself. Really? It's possible. A change in position can do much. Oh yeah, actually, I, do, I actually forgot what that mission was, but it was actually about uh, every single one of the the members of the lords on Dana. Because they I used to to live in here. Throughout all of Lenigus, then. Good thing the lines were down, so she couldn't. It almost sounded like she was praising them too. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. I shall refrain from. Is that the last one? Hmm. What? House Valkyris. That's the <laughs> second one. But honestly, I don't really care. Ganabelt was so horrible to people. Yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Doesn't that seem just a little inconsistent? I'm perhaps biased in this matter, I admit. However, in my mind, while all lords vie to become the next sovereign, they're also meant to serve as guardians of all of Rena. It seems like Ganabelt also had people he cared about until the very end. So why couldn't he extend that to us Danins? Yeah, who knows? Uh, I'm just gonna skip ahead. At their loyal That's it's not really right. something I want to. So yeah, I want to read. If it... Yeah, but I know. But at the same, so I get... You're saying that even if they run well, am I wrong? Not at being a dead. I think that's she. And I'm. All right. It's a couple of SP, so I'm definitely not mad about it. It's quite difficult to actually to get those SP. Uh, let's go there. Even if I'm uh, fighting against Zugos of the same level, it's like I'm only getting a 40 or 50 SP at a time. It's quite low, even though I have artifacts for it, I have um, like accessories for it. It doesn't work. Well, it doesn't improve, I'm gonna say it like that. Um, okay, first of all, every time I'm playing, I need to change this. I don't understand why they always change it back to the original. Okay, my beautiful. I forgot what the name of that ship was. It was something about some uh, a German name or some kind of shit like that. Okay, ready to go to Rena. I thought we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. 
And now we have more problems to fix, too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The answers have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? So, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... <coughs> what? Damn! The hell just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone! Look there! Flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dana's energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion.
With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it lay dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <sighs> I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down. <sighs> You're not the only one who's worried here. Right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Ah! Now what? The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those Red Women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Um, yeah. I uh, didn't understand a single thing now. What what happened? Like, okay, more red women's. Alright, Rena is not a planet, but a giant. Wait, is it a half planet, yeah. half flower? Our I don't even know. It's really not doing too hot right I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Yeah, does look like it. Still, though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heaven. But to think that they lied to us not only about the sovereign and the crown contest, but also the form of our own planet. Dohalim. But I think okay. it's still a planet, Who's so maybe we're still going to go here. to Rena. Someone I'm just hoping. Because if there's not uh, a, another... Just in the nick of time. Uh, okay, here, let me just let me do that. While I... No! What the... No, I'm the... Yeah, it's again? not really Seriously, interesting. It's I, I'm just hoping I'm that actually, this, it's still I a planet with a lot of regions. If it's so not, it's, it's quite fine. sad. But because that means that the only location we can no actually farm is just on Dana. And I appreciate like the, the concern. most... No, the biggest level we saw was maybe level 52. Maybe it... Yeah... I don't understand the guys who actually uh, can go to level 100. I know there's like a, a pack in the Steam shop that you can upgrade your level, like to level 40. Four packs of level 10s. It's quite interesting, but let's let's be honest, you don't want to be overpowered and just fight and defeat every single thing. You made it. You noticed? Okay, that's it. Let me just have a quick look. And it doesn't look like there's anything. We cannot interact with anything. So that means, uh, yeah. Lower level, upper level. Um, what is... Where am I right now? I don't even know. Okay, so let's begin with the lower level then. Okay then. Central level then. The starship. 
So I'm, I'm thinking that this is maybe a Renance, but like some sort of rebellion of the Renance. That they know the whole truth and maybe they need our help and they took us on their beautiful starship. Who knows? I just like to speculate or having my own IDs. Oh, it's... Is there someone in there? This place looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? Yeah, there's someone in there. Oh, the red woman. A purple woman. Uh, it's one of those! A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap? What the hell is happening? Will it, it talk? It doesn't look like it can move. It doesn't look like it's red. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. Oh shit! It's unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can talk. What are you? Have wrecked 35. Have wrecked 35? Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will, by a group of red women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the red women, pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not, it may be our best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out. I shall now answer your questions. We are Helganquil. The red women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Date Faisal, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's great spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the great spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this great spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The great astral spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the great spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it without question throughout the ages. Does that mean it was controlling your minds? Wait a second. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena? It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? 
We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge, and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenegas. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... Let's assume that what Hevrek 35 claims is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, whereas Dana's is shared among all its constituents. So thinly is that energy spread that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenegus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena in its current state. As a result, it has turned its attention toward Dana. Is that why the Crown Contest is necessary? So that the Great Spirit can feed off of Dana? Indeed. And it was to that end that we Helgankril devised the Crown Contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenegus was severely damaged, and you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. However, Recreating the Renes Alma required a vast amount of energy. That is why we turn to Dana. So that was the real purpose behind the Crown Contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. This is all happening because of me. Nevertheless, you still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hevrek 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. I'm sorry, did you just ask us to kill your master? I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenegus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis, which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. You mean... you're dying? At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? Just how many of you are there? I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dake Faisal. Hey! Hey! 
It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. Oh my god. It, like every single puzzle is coming and we know like the true form of the, the whole story of the game. And I, I quite like it. I you really can't like it. You seriously be buying anything that creature told us, right? To be honest. At the very least, that being... A spirit of Rana wants to see Dana completely destroyed. But why? Astral energy... It doesn't matter. Right. There is one other thing that concerns me. How the great spirit, the Helganquil, and the crown contest are all part of a centuries-long plan is clear enough. Oh, now that you mention it, and all that talk, Hevrek 35 never even brought up the Renans once. Maybe it had a reason for keeping it silence. Or perhaps there's even more going on. Let's find out. Maybe like the Renans are people from Dana, but have been like, I don't know, Ketnam from centuries to centuries. And then developed by the Spirit King. Who knows? Could be. Uh, what is actually my objective? Is it to find the others? But where are the others? He's, he's saying that they are not... They are not here. He was the only one. So what does that even mean? Are they like uh, civilians or... Other stuff? Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here. Nope. Uh, let me try the low level then. Can I actually enter this or not? That's the question. Low level. Yeah, I can do it. It's open. Are we gonna find some others? Other aliens or maybe people? Uh, I'll go back to there. I don't think there's gonna be like any chest, but you never know. Oh yeah, there is a lot of people. Who are they? Hmm. W what is it? Oh, my apologies. It's just been so long since I've seen any humans from the outside world. Are you a Renan? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? The Overseer told us to answer any questions you might have. Whatever you want to know, we'll tell you as much as we can. But be quick. Our subjects are undergoing a dramatic shift that we don't want to miss. What a weird guy. He must have meant Hevrecht 35 when he mentioned that Overseer. And what was that about subjects? You don't think he meant Dana and Rena, do you? There isn't anyone else we can talk to. I guess we should ask around here. Okay then. Um, so they are like part of Rena, Rena or something like that. I don't know. There's nothing in here. Let, let's just talk to them. Have you guys lived up here in Dig Faisal with Hevrek 35 for a long time? Yes. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head just how long it's been, though. We regularly go into stasis, so our sense of time has gotten rather out of whack over the years. Why are you all even here in the first place? Originally, this station was where we worked to perform maintenance on Lenegas from the outside. We heard that the facility ended up in its current location due to an accident. Oh, it was terrible. Apparently, there was some kind of accident, and when help never arrived, they presumed the entire facility had been destroyed. And you've been working for Hevrecht 35 ever since? Well, at first we thought that there was nobody else inside the facility, but then it turned out the Overseer was there all along. What do you mean? The Helganquil have the technology to cloak themselves around us Renans. As long as they don't do anything obvious, a Renan won't see one, even if it's right in front of them. Which would explain why Xion and I failed to notice the Red Women previously. Do they employ an astral art of some sort? I haven't been able to scientifically confirm it for myself, but from what I understand, the type of cloaking they use is primarily achieved through mechanical means. 
In addition, they also used hypnosis devices and information control to get us to do what they wanted without being detected. It's a pretty sophisticated operation, especially since it avoids any unnecessary conflict. I have to imagine that's how Lenigus is still run. But aren't the Helgamko themselves controlled by the Great Spirit? If so, why aren't Renans affected by it in the same way? The Great Spirit's mind control only works on Helganquil, so they had to employ other means to manipulate us Renans. You act like this didn't affect you personally. If I was you, I'd be mad as hell at their deceptions. I mean, sure, I was surprised when I first found out about it, but it happened so long ago. Everick 35 has clearly ceased concealing itself, though. Why is that? Who can say? My guess is it just got bored, or maybe even a little lonely. Don't you want to go back home to Rena or Lenigus? Our ship is going to be fixed pretty soon. You could ride with us. No way. If we went back after knowing the truth, they'd either just brainwash us or purge us outright. After all this time, there's nothing to be gained from going back. We've all agreed it'd be best to simply stay here and watch everything unfold instead. Things are going just fine with the Overseer. Not that it'll be around much longer. It can't extend its life any further. That said, I'm sure it's pleased to see the final stage of the plan before it passes on, though. Thank you for answering our questions. Thank you, my lady. So are they like the only three people in here? It must be quite lonely. Can we talk to you for a few minutes? Nope. Sure. It's going to be a while before the two planets undergo their next shift, so I can talk until then. Please, tell us what you know about the Helganquil. You mean the Overseer's species? I can't say I know much about them. Well, for starters, where'd they come from? <laughs> Where else? From Rena, obviously. From Rena? Wait, are you telling us those things live right alongside the Renans down there? Of course not. There's really no such thing as Renans in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, I thought the Overseer explained everything. Apparently not. Please, tell us more. Well, in a nutshell. The Renans were originally created from Danans by the Helganquil. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's logical. Let's be honest. But if that's true, then that would mean there aren't any people on Rena. There aren't. But there are Helganquil. That's what the name literally means in their language. People of Rena. But what need could they possibly have to create a whole new race of people? It was a way to bolster their dwindling workforce. I trust you're aware that the Helganquil are on the verge of extinction, yes? In essence, we were created to carry on their work for the Great Spirit after they all die. They gathered Danans who had an affinity for astral arts and proceeded from there. That's why we, as their descendants, can all cast arts Albeit to varying degrees. So they're like Danan and mages. Are you saying Renans were originally created from Danans that the Helganquil kidnapped? I Wait, knew it! I said why it! why almost nobody can use Astro Arts on Dana now. Helganquil technology is truly amazing. The way they alter their bodies is far less invasive than your conventional surgeries. They have these tiny machines that are practically. Doesn't he look like quite creepy right now? And Enough! You needn't tell us anymore. How can you speak so calmly about all of this? I guess I can see how, when viewed in a certain light, their ways may sound grotesque. But if you ask me, I think they ultimately did us a favor. They saved us from crawling the earth in ignorance. If it meant their hands had to get a little dirty in the process, then so be it. Anyway, the Helganquil are the real Renans. Personally, I don't think it's such a big deal. They're also mostly the ones behind what you see going on between the two planets. I think that covers just about everything worth knowing. I see. Thanks for filling us in. But that was really logical. You just need to, to think of it. 
Does he really expect us to believe that Renan's never truly existed? How absurd. Dohalim. Just when I think we're getting to the bottom of it all, some new revelation smacks us in the face. Then let's hope this is our last revelation for a while. So I really want to know what happened with the, like, every single sovereign. Like, I know there's, like, a new sovereign, like, every 10 or 20 years. But what happened to them? They, they do not go back to Lenegas, so they go back, so they go to Rena. But if there's nobody in on Rena, are they, like, killed instantly? I don't know. It's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. Okay, last one. Do you know anything about a spirit channeling plan? If you mean the first plan from 300 years ago, then yes. Do you know what its main objective was? Yes. It was to use Lenigus to siphon off Dana's astral energy and send it to Rena. Exactly. However, there were two problems we had to consider. First was how to collect and send such a large quantity of astral energy without it becoming sentient. Second, we had to figure out how to convert Dana's energy so it would be compatible with Rena. I take it the solutions to those problems were to use the wedge for the collection, and then the sovereign and maiden to convert the energy. We have a winner! However, the first plan failed when the sovereign was overwhelmed and became frenzied. <sighs> the reason for that is because the maiden lost control. I'm told he slaughtered many Renans in Helganquil that day. <sighs> For the next plan, we tried to recreate the Renis Alma, but we didn't have nearly enough of the other non-dark astral energy types. To amend that, we set our sights on Dana, and implemented a system whereby we could extract energy from it. And the crown contest began. Correct. Since the Maiden had been the failing point in the previous plan, it was decided to replace her role with machinery to avoid further mishaps. A new Sovereign had to be made as well. It was such tremendously difficult work, its success was dubious. But from the look of things, it would appear such worries were unfounded. So that's what the purpose of that room we found in the Forbidden Zone was. What about the flower that sprouted from Rena? Flower? Oh, that thing. That's the physical manifestation of all the astral energy that's been harvested from Dana. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's quite a lot of energy. At this point, it's likely that it's become physically integrated with Rena's planetary structure. Hevrecht 35 mentioned that the spirit channeling plan is entering its final stage. Is that true? It is. I never thought I would live to see the day with my own eyes, and yet here we are. Are we done talking now? If it's all the same to you, I'd really rather not miss anything that's about to happen. He talks like the potential end of the world is just another day on the job. You've got to remember that these guys have been living alone up here for a long time. Who knows what shape their minds are in? It feels like our whole world has been turned upside down. Is there anything we know that's still true at this point? Seriously, I'm still trying to process the fact that we Renans were created by the Helganquil, let alone the Sovereign and Maiden stuff. I know all of this is a lot to believe and take in, but... I think it's fair to say that we've found the answers we've been looking for. Does everyone agree? Agreed. Though I'll admit that I never expected it to all boil down to Rena's great spirit being behind everything. Everything that's happened, everything we've endured, it's all because of astral energy. And to get that energy, the great spirit took control of the Helganquil. Then the Helganquil created the Renans, who went on to invade and rule over the Danans. Plus, the reason the great spirit can't directly control the Renans as well is likely because they were originally Danans all along. <laughs> Either way, I think it's fair to say we've all had a lot to take in at once. Maybe too much, even. We should probably take it easy and rest our minds a bit. Why don't we all take some time to think things over, before we decide on our next move? That's a good idea. If the Renan Great Spirit really is behind all this, then we've got a really big fight ahead of us. Because it's not just Dana on the line, but Rena too. 
If we're going to do this, we need to be completely sure of our... So let's go ahead and break... You sure you don't want to be alone right now? I could ask you the same... I figured I'd get all my thinking in while walking around and checking up on everybody. I'll go along with you. I'm interested to hear what's on everyone's minds, too. Sounds good. Let's go find them. Everyone's just gone their own way. It's pretty way, weird. Huh? It's really pretty weird. Yeah. Let's There's a lot of talking spot. again. It's not like I mind it, but... Okay, we can actually rest in here. Uh, I don't really need that. You know, uh, I'm just gonna talk with everyone and then maybe just end the episode. Oh, there's actually a lot more. I didn't even realize there were a lot of other people. I can't even see your eyes, beautiful lady. Hey, Kisara. Oh, How you doing, bro? You two. He who? Oh, you mean Dohalim? Do I know that we're all struggling to wrap our minds around it all, but he looked like he was taking it really hard earlier. What do you think about everything we've learned? About the Renans and the Great Spirit and all that? On some level, I'm not even really sure what to think, to be honest. I mean, the Great Spirit is like a huge natural disaster, but with a mind and will of its own. But if that thing's hellbent on trying to destroy our planet, then the only thing left for us to do is stop it. As for the Renans, I suppose my feelings on that are a bit more mixed. How so? Coexistence between Danans and Renans in Menencia is still a work in progress. In my case, I think that's partly because deep down, I was still on guard around Renans. So, <laughs> to be told that they're like us, that they're actually just like us is, well, <laughs> I guess it's a little deflating, to be honest. You kept a pretty level head. You mean about the Renans? But at the same time, I realize that not every Danon is necessarily going to believe that either. I know you're already aware of this, but the list of grievances the Danons have against the Renans is long. And if people then find out that they're all actually one and the same... Even just among the Danons, I'm sure there will be some who emerge with power, and some who won't. I think if we can find a way to get rid of that imbalance, then we'll be in a truly good place. Well, first we can try to figure out what to do about the existing conflicts we have. Yeah. It'd be nice if one day people could learn to get past their hatred like Rinwell did. It's no small task. We can't pretend like the past didn't happen and ask people to forget their very real pain and suffering. Right. Everybody has their reasons for feeling the way that they do. But if we just keep yelling at each other about it, we'll never move on. In a worst-case scenario, it might lead to even more people getting killed. And we all have to figure out how to meet halfway. Not just that, but to also embrace each other's pain, in a sense. That's an interesting way of putting it. It's true. It won't be achieved through reasoning, but I think it's a good first step, if nothing else. And now, I think I see a way to move forward. But to do that, First, we need to make sure our planet isn't going to get wiped out. What I don't really understand with every single conversation we had at this moment is that how is it even possible to... Why the Renans have like the bright eyes when they use magic and not to run well. I thought they are Danans, maybe they're modified to use those astral arts and have like lighting light on their eyes. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Oh, healing. Uh, sure. I don't see why there should be one in here. Happy bottle. All right. Is there something else in? No, doesn't look like it. Um, Rinwell, little girl. You both seem awfully calm. <laughs> Only because after everything we've seen, we don't have the energy to keep being shocked. How are you holding up, Rinwell? That whole talk about the Renans looked like it shook you up a bit. Yeah. I get this sinking feeling whenever I remember how Dan and mages like my family were persecuted and died out. And now, I finally know why that is. <sighs> but I was thinking, if Renans end up living together with Danans again, then mages won't be such an unusual thing to see on Dana anymore, right? <laughs> I know it's not as simple as all that, but... Danans probably won't be so quick to let their guards down. And there might be Renans who still act superior because of their arts. It wouldn't surprise me. 300 years of bad blood and prejudice isn't going to be an easy thing to overcome. 
Yeah. I know firsthand just how much hatred can take hold in your heart once you let it in. But even so, I was still able to change. And if I can change, so can anyone else. So I was thinking maybe, I don't know, I could use my position as both a Danon and a mage to help bring both sides together. Renwell. That great spirit worries me too, though. Dana's will feels so warm and inviting. So why is Rena's will trying to destroy our entire planet? Now that you mention it, Everick 35 and the other scientists here never really brought that up. Maybe they don't know either. Maybe. But regardless, at the end of the day, Dan is still our home. There's no way we can let it be destroyed. We won't. We'll keep it safe no matter what. No matter what. I'm gonna do it with all of you guys. It's gonna be pretty weird to actually see the final boss, the Great Spirits. If it's going to be like a giant Zoogle or is it a humanoid form? I don't know. But my biggest question I is, are we still going it, to Rena? I want to go to Rena. Only one still trying to make sense of all this. Believe me. Really? You've never struck me as the type of guy to get hung up on these sorts of things. Did you forget what happened back in Thistleim? Once my memory started coming back to me, I felt completely and totally lost. It was really that bad for you? Yeah, it was. But thanks to Law and everybody else, I remembered that I still had things out there worth fighting for. Man, I think you might be a better guy than me, Alfin. All I can remember thinking was, when's this guy gonna get his act together? Law. I was too worried about repeating the same mistakes I'd made back with my dad, and running away from the truth. That was no way to live. And I've tried to stay strong, my way. But all this talk about other races and the world ending? If I can be honest with you guys, it's just all too much for me to handle right now. I know this is going to sound strange coming from me, but maybe the key is not to worry too much about the big stuff right now. Oh? I used to worry all the time about my thorns, for obvious reasons, but I never really opened up to anyone about them. And when I realized my visions pointed to a threat that was bigger than me, I didn't know what I should do or who to tell. But that's when I finally got it. You guys were all there for me, to teach me what's really important. I just had to open up and listen. In other words, if you let the big picture stuff get you all muddled up inside, you'll begin to lose sight of what you really care about. Yeah, I think you're right. The thing that's most important, what I really care about, all I want to do is protect the people that really matter to me, to fight for them. That's good enough, right? Not everyone is strong enough to fight. Huh? It's something your dad told me once when he was still alive. Law. You know you're strong enough to fight, and you're strong enough to protect the people you care about. Forget all the big stuff going on. Just don't lose sight of what you want to protect in the first place. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> it's like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I'll fight to protect the people around me. Just like I always have. I think that's best. Yeah, okay. Um, last one is going to be Dohalim. He's like the the biggest, the, the, the most surprised one. I don't think he actually quite like it that we he said that he was a Danon. I don't know. Let's see what he says. I apologize for making you witness that. No, you don't apologize. You mean the origins of the Renans? Indeed. It's shocking to have so many things I thought to be indelible fade away in mere seconds. Even I'm still not sure everything we've heard here is actually true. Let's not delude ourselves. If what we've heard is a lie, it's a rather elaborate one. Hmm. <laughs> I can only imagine that you must have been constantly feeling like this, ever since your memory returned, Alfin. And you as well, Shion. About your thorns, and being a maiden. That's just part of being alive, don't you think? Well, to say the least, but enough about me. I'm not concerned for myself. What concerns me is all of the other Renans out there. When you say the other Renans, 
You mean the ones that are living on Lenigus or Dana, right? Correct. Even if we stop the Great Spirit from annihilating Dana, our problems will still remain. Putting aside the untold state that Rena may be in, if we do not truly belong there, we will have to think long and hard about where it is that we wish to return to. So, I guess your only real choices at this point are to either stay on Lenigus or come down to Dana, huh? And right now, Lenigus might not even be a safe option. And at the same time, Danans are hardly likely to embrace Renans with open arms. If the issue is forced, things could turn dire. There is, after all, three centuries worth of hatred to overcome between us. And the victims of our rule have absolutely every right to feel animosity towards us Renans. Our own circumstances as the aggressors are irrelevant. I didn't expect the former Lord of Menencia to be so down about people reconciling. Menencia's fate was a stroke of good luck. There had been backlash over how it had been ruled, and I was blessed to have sympathizers among my ranks. Still, even now, there remain ardent dissidents. But things can still change if you have the right people to help lead the way. Isn't that what you hope to achieve on Lenigus, after this is all over? Indeed. I have fully accepted the burden of that responsibility. In that regard, I remain determined. On that note, I have something of a favor to ask of you, Alfin. Oh? What is it? I wish for you to serve as a mediator so that the Renans can live on Dana peaceably. As the one and only Blazing Sword, I suspect the Danans may listen to what you have to say when problems arise. And I take it that you'll be the one to represent the Renans? Yes. I realize that I'm asking quite a lot of you. However, the fact of the matter is that it will take time for Renans to re-enter Danan society without any bloodshed. That is why... <laughs> You're the same as ever, Dohalim. Is it too much? No, relax. You get so tense and formal when you're asking for a favor. Listen, there's no need for that. We're friends. <sighs> You're too <clears throat> kind. We're friends? I can see you were raised Since well. Since when? Oh, That's shit. That's high praise, Alfin. Then I'll ask once again. This time, it's not just, just as friends. friends. Nope. Alfin, will you help me? Nope. You don't even need to ask. Of course I will. That means Alfin's going to be the king you, of Dana. My friend. And, uh... Dohalim is going to be the king of well, Legolas. Like what, 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 what was it again? Using it to create a better future Legolas. for everyone. Oh what shit! I actually forgot feel? the name of the how spaceship. How do you feel about the or To be honest, right oh, now. Oh fuck! How do you mean? Because for a really, really long time, all I ever thought about was how I was going to die. I thought I'd die alone. Nope. That fate had me in its steely grip. I would have never. I still want to have like a, some sort of like marriage you. between the two, Fighting but I'm pretty Lenny sure I don't want to. I don't want to say mean, anything because it can be true, but I think it's one of them is gonna die. I'm just saying. Years. I think. I think it's going to go that way. I'm hoping that it's when you not. The but you never know. In all this, it was Naori's hope, how it fell on us of all people to heed that call, is a mystery. I don't think Naori was hoping that we would just stop the world from getting destroyed. She considered me, a Danon, as a real person. I don't think she wanted the world to be saved just so they could go back to hurting each other. Oh, maybe this is what she meant. Huh? When we were talking to Kisara earlier, about all that stuff like everyone's needing to meet halfway and embrace each other's pain and suffering, she said that the first step down that path was for each of us to put aside our own hatred. That means forgiving other people. Even and especially before they forgive you. Forgiving. So it goes both ways, right? Yeah. I don't just mean forgiving things that happened in the past, either. Conflicts will keep happening. If we have any hope of moving on and building a better future, we have to all learn to forgive each other. You know, you're right. People can hurt one another without even meaning to. I know that better than most, thanks to these thorns. It's not going to be easy getting past this pain, but if we can do it, I'm there with you, Shion. I think that's... Yeah. Well there, savior girl. We're here to save you too, you know. Yes, I know. <sighs> Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Nah, maybe not, maybe not. Okay then. Well, 
Is everybody ready to do what needs to be done? So right now I actually need to talk with I the... Am. There's a lot to think about. The but at the alien end of the again. Day, Dan is still in danger. I don't care who we're up against. We'll kick their ass. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts, Alfin? I want to know what's on your mind too. Like Law said, if we have to fight the Great Spirit on Renan, then so be it. It's trying to rob us of our entire world, and it's going to take not just our home. But all of existence along with it. That alone is enough to make it our enemy. But it's not only that. One way or another, I think beating the Great Spirit is going to be tied to us saving Xion. You're saying there's a chance? You're referring to the vision of destruction we all saw in Lenigus, I take it? Yeah. Three centuries ago, the astral energy that appeared at the spirit channeling ceremony showed Naori that vision. And to hear Xion tell it, it's the same one that she sees from her own thorns as well. Indeed, Xion's thorns are comprised of dark astral energy, the one type which we know is native only to Rena. And if Rena's great spirit is what's behind Dana's pending destruction, then. Xion's thorns are the Great Spirit? It's not actually on Rena like we thought? We don't know anything for certain. At the very least, though, I think it's possible her thorns are a part of the Great Spirit. While the main body resides in Rena. Xion. <sighs> If these thorns really are a part of Rena's great spirit, I'm going to go over there and give it a piece of my mind and then some. The question is, how do we confront it? Suffice it to say, that flower growing out of Rena is enormous, large enough to house the will of an entire planet. The Wedge and Lenigus were both hard enough for us to overcome in their own right. This is an altogether greater challenge for merely six. And we only know about the Thorn's connection thanks to Naori. Hevrick 35 has been observing the Great Astral Spirit this whole time. It wouldn't ask us to fight it unless it has a plan of some sort. Let's go see what that is. All right, then. So we finished talking with every single one. Let's go give Hevrek 35 our answer. Yeah, uh, but I'm going to do that in the next episode. It took like 50 minutes to talk about a lot of things and I'm quite tired. So I'm going to end this episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there was like zero action and a lot of story content, talking, talking and talking, but I quite enjoyed it. It's uh, never a bad, a bad thing to to hear more of the story, so I don't like it, uh, I don't hate it, I'm gonna say it like that. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like or comment, it will be gladly appreciated, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.